Okay, children. Uh, let's talk about building rapo. What is rapo building? Rapo building is an important part of our growing up and needed in our social and professional life. You know, you need to maintain a rapo. You know, if, if you're talking, that compatibility should be there with your colleagues. You should have a special uh, kind of bond. Okay, so your rapport building is very important. It is needed in our social as well as professional life. See, rapport refers to a relationship where there is a mutual trust and understanding. What is rapport? Rapport refers to a relationship where there is a mutual trust. Means both of, both the people, you know, if you do logo ke beech ki rapport hoti hai. So if you're talking about rapport between two people, so both of them share a different kind of, you know, they have trust on each other, their understanding is good. And uh, between all those involved, so how all are involved, all have a good bond, they trust each other, they share a good relationship, they have a very nice understanding, right? Then only a team can work. So they have the other's best interests in mind. Because in all of them, best interest is going We are doing this for this, right? For the betterment, if you talk about school, for the betterment of school, if you're working in any organization, you're working for the betterment of the company, working for the company, uh, okay? So, rapport building is the process of creating rapport and building trusting relationships between two or more people. That is all about rapport building, right? How can you build a rapport with my classmates? How can... I build a rapport with my classmates and teachers that benefit me. So it will help you to interact with each other. If you have a good rapport with your friends, then what can you do? You can interact with each other. It will help you to interact with each other. It will open you up to learn about each other. If you share a good rapport, share a good relationship, you learn about your friend. You all, you know, if you have a good friend, you have lives, dislikes, nature, behavior, everything Yes? Yes or no? Yes, yes, yes ma'am. It will help you to ask questions without fear. So if you share a good rapport with somebody, you can ask a question without fear. So you should share a good rapport with your teacher as well. Why only sticking to your friends and students? Student, child, uh, you know, teacher, student relationship should is equally important. You should have a good rapport with your teachers. You should have a good rapport with your parents, with your grandparents, your family, your relatives, your cousins. Everybody plays an important, vital role in your life, isn't it? Yes or no? Yes, yes, no. So it will help you express your opinions easily and without hesitation. If you have a relationship, you don't have to hesitate to do it. You can share your problem, you can share your opinions, you can discuss your opinions openly, you can discuss your opinion, you can express your opinion. That this is my opinion. Now you tell me whether it is right or wrong. And if it is wrong, then how, you know, means the way, the explanation part, everything. It can be, you can deal it with it. Right, it will help you interact and learn more from the teachers. If you share a good rapport with your teacher, obviously you will learn more from your teacher. Agar koi kharusti teacher hoti hai, to aapko achha hota hai. Koi strict ma'am hoti hai, to aap logo ko padne mein maza aata hai, ya boring subject hota hai, jisme aapko interest na ho. Subject koi bhi boring nahi hota. Aapko subject wo boring lagta hai, jisme aapka interest nahi hota. Right, so if you don't have interest in any subject, तो आपको वो boring लगता है और वही subject दूसरे बच्चे को अच्छा लगता है, interesting लगता है क्योंकि उसका interest होता है उसमें, isn't it? तो अगर आप अगर आपकी teacher से अच्छी bonding हुई, relationship अच्छा हुआ, कि आप openly teacher को अपनी problem share कर रहे हो and then teacher is also checking it out, giving the solutions, finding out ways for your problems. 
so you will share a good rap with your teacher so uh, eventually what will happen you will learn how to interact with your teacher isn't it and learning it will affect your learning also in a better way right and quality that helps in rapport building what are the certain qualities that help in rapport building wait qualities and help in rapport building good behavior if you have a good rapport your behavior will obviously be good agar kisi se acha rapport hai to kya quality aapke andar behavior bhi acha aayega right you will have positive attitude you you will have shared interest or common interest jiske sath rapport achhi hogi agar understanding achhi hogi to aapke aur uske interest bhi common honge शेयर इंटरेस्ट होगा सेंस ऑफ ह्यूमर आपका डेवलप होगा यूल हैव अ गुड सेंस ऑफ ह्यूमर शेयर शेयरिंग बिलोंगिंगनेस सॉरी बिलोंगिंग्स सो यूल शेयर योर बिलोंगिंग्स विद योर फ्रेंड राइट ट्रस्टिंग ईच अदर यूल ट्रस्ट योर फ्रेंड राइट योर फ्रेंड योर टीचर योर पेरेंट्स योर रिलेटिव कजन सबको ट्रस्ट करोगे अगर अच्छी रखो जिससे होगी उससे so you will have very good qualities so qualities that help in rapport building so you should have these qualities then only you can build a rapport with people around you so you should have a good behavior you should have positive attitude you should have common interest your sense of humor must be perfect good nice you know then sharing you should यू शुड नो हाउ टू शेयर योर बिलोंगिंग ये नहीं कि मेरा मैं नहीं दूंगा तो वो आपसे बात ही नहीं करेगा नेक्स्ट टाइम तो आपका रेपो कैसे बनेगा किसी तरह यू शुड ट्रस्ट ही चौदह आप ट्रस्ट दिखाओगे तो ही सामने वाला भी ट्रस्ट दिखाएगा राइट देन ओनली यू विल बिल्ड अ बॉन्ड इज अट क्लियर यस यस मैम ओके नाउ रेपो बिल्डिंग fun activities there are few activities friendship familiarity trust and respect so there these are some of the things needed for two people am i audible clearly do i need a mic i don't think so apne pehwar ka kya aadmi bada sakte hain cha cha bolte kare udayan shakti ho mat sakte so rap building fun activities a friendship familiarity trust and respect these these are some of the things needed for two people to bond with one another and strike a rapport so if you want to create a bond with somebody and strike a rapport then you should have a friendship with that person that means familiarity honi chahiye known hona chahiye trust hona chahiye ek dusre ke respect honi chahiye agar aap ek dusre ke respect hi nahi karoge to kya rapport so then there is no use so common interest here are some fun activities that will help build rapport with classmates common interest if it's a large group you can break it up into team of 5 each 5 five, 5 five ki team bana sakte hain hum if it is a small group hum pairs mein exercise kar sakte hain right okay so now here see uh, there are different activities that we can't do because we are you are not here right now making help buddies okay now let's come to help buddies see if somebody is not up to the mark in the class or any child is a slow writer you can't say up not up to the mark if any child is specially abled or he is a slow writer he or she is a slow writer slow learner has some learning disabilities in those case help buddies concept should be given right that means jo bachcha bahut acha hai wo dusre ko help kare aisa hota hai na ki aapka work incomplete hai aur aap kisi acche bachche ko bolte ho please help him or please help her right 
so that is the hell buddies concept so you can pair up into hell buddies ask the teacher to make two lists one with names of children who are good at socializing and confident and others who are shy jo confident hain thode socialize karne mein acche hain har ek se baat karte hain wo aur ek jo shy hai un dono ka group bana do to ek kam bolne wala ek zyada bolne wala to automatically balance ho jayega right teacher can write the names of children in paper chairs for them so these are the ways right to make help buddies so basically uh, you have done about building rapports children i have taken this class i'll continue okay now let's come to i am a good listener when you are told oh. listen by someone most often you think i need to hear this jab aapko koi bolta hai listen to aapko pata hota hai aapke dimag aapko batata hai brain your brain tells you instructs you to listen carefully ki ab aapko sunna hai right so listen to your teachers instructions listen to your parents rules listen to the information your friend is sharing but listening is so much more than hearing listening jo hai hearing se bahut zyada hai because listening ke baad understanding comprehending ye sab bhi to chahiye application should also be there so there are many things that comes after listening so listening matlab sirf sunna nahi hai sunne ke baad us pe act bhi karna hota hai okay so why listening yani kisi ne bola listen aap uski taraf dekhne ki jagah dusri taraf dekh ke suno ha ha bolo main sun raha hu to jo bol raha hoga uska interest hi nahi aayega bolne mein usko irritation hogi he will get irritated he will think why is he behaving in this fashion why is not he why is not uh, making eye contact with me why is not listening to me properly so if you want that you know the other person should listen to you carefully if you say listen you should make it sure that the other person is looking at you eye contact is very important so look at the person who is talking listen and don't interrupt beech mein interrupt nahi karna chahiye sunna chahiye ask questions to find out more jab aap jab isne khatam kar diya apni baat bol li then you can ask more questions you know to find out more you should ask questions then nod or say something to show you understand jitni der wo bol raha hai utni der aapko muh se nahi kuch bolna hai sunna hai aur sunte sunte nod karna hai ya hmm ki agle ko lage ha aap agree kar rahe ho you are understanding you are getting what he is trying to tell you right so for that you have to nod or you have to show that you are understanding in any way repeat what you heard in your own words jo bhi aapne suna usko apne words mein bhi repeat karo jisse aapko samajh aa jaye yaad rahe understanding and application yaad rahega tabhi to aage us pe work karoge okay now here again it's an activity of class discussion सामने वाला कोई भी हो सकता है ना ऐसी सिचुएशन आती है yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes. yes. How does it feel when someone won't listen to your ideas or opinions? जब कोई आपके ideas और opinions को नहीं सुनता है, तो कैसा लगता है? You don't feel good. Do you feel good about it? You feel bad about it, right? What are some of the reasons why people don't listen? क्या reasons हैं? लोग क्यों नहीं सुनते? Because उनका interest ही नहीं होता. Busy. Is they are busy? They don't have interest in their uh, this thing. Then they don't share a good rapport. Connection. Rapport se connection aa gaya listening ka. Right? 
Then what's yes. wrong with not listening when someone is talking to you? क्या गलत है इसमें? Yes, anyone? What's wrong with not listening when someone is talking to you? Come on, क्या गलत है? कोई आपसे बात कर रहा है तो आप सुन नहीं रहे हो इसमें क्या गलत है? बहुत गलत है. It is wrong. You should respect others. So if somebody is talking to you, you should listen to that person. At least out of courtesy. Sunna chahiye. Respect karni chahiye. Right? How, how can not listening create hard feelings between friends? Agar friends aapas mein baat kar rahe ho, ek bol raha, dusre ki suni nahi raha. दूसरा कह रहे हैं मेरे को भी तो बोलने दो मैं मैं भी कुछ बताना चाहता हूँ मेरा भी ओपिनियन है नहीं सुनेगा तो नेक्स्ट टाइम वो उससे बात ही नहीं करेगा आपस में हार्ड फीलिंग्स आ जाएंगी सो नॉट लिसनिंग कैन ब्रिंग हार्ड फीलिंग्स इट कैन क्रिएट हार्ड फीलिंग्स राइट इस देर डिफरेंस बिटवीन ह Hearing मतलब सिर्फ सुनना, listening मतलब ध्यान से सुनना है, eye contact बनाना है। Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, and you have to respond. You have to show that you are listening by nodding or by any other gesture. Okay. When you are listening to somebody completely, attentively. Then you are listening not only to the words but also to the feelings of what is being conveyed to the whole of it, not part of it. So this is written by Jindu Krishnamurti, he is a philosopher, speaker and writer. So when you are listening to someone with full attention, you are not listening to their words, you are listening to their feelings. जो कन्वे कर रहे हो बोलते हुए उसको भी सुनते हो समझते हो एक पूरा पूरी चीज समझते हो एज अ फुल थिंग होल थिंग नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ इट सिर्फ एक इतनी सी चीज नहीं समझते पूरे इमोशन समझते हो आप राइट ओके ओके टिप्स फॉर लिस्निंग एंड स्पीकिंग देर आर टेन टिप्स Use hand gestures to convey what I what you are saying. अब मैं आपको पढ़ा रही हूँ। आपको दिख रहा होगा मेरी hands move कर रहे हैं, right? Because you know it is very important whenever you are explaining, whenever you are talking, you are conveying anything. Hand gestures are very important. Hand gestures होंगे तो ही better आपको समझ आएगा, right? Use correct words. Wrong words नहीं use होने चाहिए। The right tone of voice, the voice की tone है, वो भी correct होनी चाहिए। Use your face to convey your feelings। अपनी feelings convey करो, अपने face पे emotions लाओ, reflection होना चाहिए। जो भी आप feel कर रहे हो, वो expression दिखना चाहिए face पे। Be clear about what you mean, यानी thoughts clear होने चाहिए। जो आप बोल रहे हो, आप एकदम clearly समझ आए सामने वाले को। Right, so whatever, जो आपका mean है, ये नहीं कि आप एक बस sentence बोलके, I mean, I mean, please don't take me otherwise, I mean this, I mean that, no, एक straight बोलो, be clear about what you mean, listen if the person questions you, अगर कोई person आपसे कुछ question पूछ रहा है, उसको सुनो, उसको answer करो, respond to the speaker, speaker जो बोल रहा है, उसको respond करो, yes, no, okay, not करो एक्सेप्टेंस देनी चाहिए। स्पीक इन अ क्लियर एंड स्लो वॉइस। आपकी वॉइस क्लियर होनी चाहिए और स्लो। स्लो मतलब धीरे नहीं, सॉफ्ट नहीं। स्लो मतलब आराम आराम से बोलो जिससे किसी को समझ आए। अब ये नहीं बोला आर सामने को समझ ही नहीं आएगा। सो यू हैव टू बी स्लो। यू हैव टू स्पीक इन अ क्लियर एंड स्लो वॉइस। then take turns to speak. Turn wise बोलना है। ये नहीं कि सब एक साथ। जैसे online class में तो आजकल बहुत होता है। सब एक साथ answer करने लगते हैं। Isn't it? Yes or no? 
But everybody in class seven is sleeping. No, no, there is no response. No response coming from you people. You are not interested in the class. Yes. Okay. There are a few yeah. games, listening, speaking games. That is, you can play Dhamsharas. You can play Chinese whis Whisper. Right? Chinese Whisper is a good game. Dhamsharas is also a good game. We should play these games just to polish the listening and speaking skills. Okay? Fine? This much is clear? This much is clear? Yes, clear. That's all for these two uh, topics. We will not do anything else in these two. So we have done the repo building also and the listening part also. Thank you.